Hello YouTube and welcome to another Python tutorial or actually Python video. So in this video I will show you some pretty nice Python Easter eggs. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know Easter eggs are some actually hidden code left by programmers that is most of the case undocumented and most of the cases it's just for fun or show some uh, funny tricks with language so here i will show you some pretty nice uh, easter eggs for python okay so first of all let me just uh, log in to the python shell or python repo so here i'm using bpython but you can just type python and you will get the repo for python which is a simple shell for Python, okay? So, you know, when you want to start language, the first thing that you learn in how to display or to print actually the hello world message. So for Python, there is uh, actually a pretty straightforward function called print. So if you print, which is a function here, hello world, it will actually display hello world it's easy as that but there is an easter egg for that which is actually by used by importing a model a hidden model called hello so if i import the model underscore underscore hello as you can see here i will get the same message here hello world so the import hello actually is just 16 characters so with these 16 characters you will get the same result as the print function okay another Easter X is used by important model called this so if I import this time without the underscore this just like that I will get what we call the Zen of Python so as you can see here the Zen of Python by Tim Peters. Actually, what is the Zen of Python? Is just some uh, design guideline for the Python programming language. So as you can see here, some examples. It's like actually a poem. So beautiful is better than ugly. So here we are always referring to how you can, how you design your programming uh, syntax in Python. So explicit is better than implicit, simple is better than complex, complex is better than complicated. Yo, you can see that is very logical here. Flight is better than nested, sparse is better than dense. Readability counts. So here, as you can see here, a couple of uh, guidelines for Python programmers, okay? So it's pretty nice Easter egg also for Python. Let me show you another Easter egg. So if I import this time into anti-gravity. So let's see what we get by using this uh, Easter egg. Let me just make sure I have type it well, gravity, yes, it is. Here we go. So, what we get here, actually, your default browser will open and it will browse directly to this site here called xkcd.com. So, what we get in this site is actually a couple of comics. So, it's a web comic for romance, sarcasm, math, and language. Okay. So here you can see some pictures, Python, you are flying how with Python. Here are some comics also. I learned it last night. Everything is so simple. Hello world, it just print hello world. So here you can see also some comics. You can use the random button next and previous one. Okay, we here we have solar system cartongram here, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, Saturn. 
okay so it's kind of a funny website when you can get some pretty nice illustration in comics okay <laughs> so let me get rid of this so remember this uh, anti-gravity model also hit model here we go and our last easter egg is actually uh, concerning the syntax of language so as you may know a lot of uh, languages like C, C++, Java use actually curly braces for denoting codes or denoting a block of codes okay but here in Python we use indentation to denote a block of codes so this Easter X actually just state that you will never get uh, replaced indentation by curly braces so in order to illustrate that I will import model from the future which means in the future it will never be braces so from future import braces I will see what we get here so you can see here we have a syntax error invalid syntax okay actually I did a mistake not from not import future but here we should actually use from from this model here underscore underscore future import braces you get this syntax error this funny syntax error not a chance which means in the future it will never uh, actually denote the block of codes with braces okay so it's kind of funny anyway that was just some pretty nice uh, easter eggs for python there are some others but they are not very important and those that are the, and those i show you are the most important ones okay so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye